हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑल एन लॉ दिस इज अ यूट्यूब चैनल डेडिकेटेड फॉर मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स नर्सिंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड इवन फॉर फार्मेसी स्टूडेंट्स एंड दिस इज अ मेडिकल वीडियो लेक्चर मेडिकल वीडियो लेक्चर इंटरनल मेडिसिन and today's topic of discussion is differential diagnosis of fibromyalgia polymyositis and polymyalgia rheumatica so these three are very important for usmle step 2 ck and step 3 so before starting a discussion on this i would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do not forget to share our videos with your friends so let me quickly start a discussion on this so this is kind of a revision and very important points i'm going to talk about and these points will help you to diagnose very quickly okay among your other diagnosis my fibromyalgia okay polymyositis how would you differentiate polymyalgia rheumatica okay so i'm going to give you the tell me the age of the patient age and the sex of the patient age what will be the age usually the patient will present with the fibromyalgia it will be young adult young adult okay what about polymyositis it will be around 40 to 60 years try to concentrate on the age of the patient in in usmle examination that's very important sometimes age can help you to diagnose the disease correctly and here more than 50 years okay excellent now what's the sex here will be human here what it will be same women and here again women okay and what about the what do you call um, classical finding before that let me tell you about the location of the pain location okay in fibromyalgia it can be various okay whereas in uh, polymyositis is a proximal muscles proximal muscles okay whereas in a polymyalgia rheumatica is a pectoral and pelvic girdle girdles pectoral and pelvic girdle okay or even can be neck what's the classical findings the classical findings are or clinical features findings in the fibromyalgia the patient will have anxiety okay stress okay insomnia point tenderness point tenderness over affected muscles they will show you the points and okay and what about the polymyositis what they will say classic findings of this remember in usmle just look for elevated cpk okay abnormal e m g myography and a biopsy okay guys and in fibromyalgia rheumatica look for a temporal arthritis okay or great response to the steroids more esr raised esr okay so what about the esr esr here in here will be esr will be normal okay It's elevated is 
is a markedly elevated. There is more than 100. Okay? Very much elevated in a polymyalgia rheumatica. Okay, guys? And what about the muscle biopsy? It will be normal here. It will be abnormal over here. And it can be normal here. Okay? That's what biopsy we do. And what about the treatment? For fibromyalgia, antidepressants, NSAIDs, okay? Rest, right? For polymyositis is the steroids. Steroids. And for polymyalgia rheumatica, it's a steroids. Okay, guys? So, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sure this video is going to help you. Thank you so much. Take care.